good evening everyone this is a quick discussion of vector diagram how we can find the resultant of uh, the two vectors by using a scale diagram or a vector diagram so there are two ways to solve either the two vectors you can consider them as a side of the parallelogram if you consider them as a side of the parallelogram then both vectors should start from one point you will open the length like vector a and b are there you will open the compass to length a and draw an arc you will open the compass to length b and draw an arc when you draw the two arcs the point where the two arcs will intersect you will draw a line when you join the starting point to the intersection of the arc that will be the resultant this is parallelogram method and we'll complete this as a side of a parallelogram or a triangle method in a triangle method first we draw vector one vector a and then from tail of the first to the head of the last first we draw vector a then we draw vector b and from tail of the first to the head of the last we'll get the resultant so both ways can be used but it's better you use a parallelogram at the reason for that because most of the question the angle between the two vector is given so when angle between the two vectors is given you i prefer that you use a parallelogram method which will be easy to solve but triangle method can also be used it will not make difference to the final answer so we have two vectors 1220 and 950 by use of a scale diagram or a vector diagram so first scale diagram we because 950 and 1220 these are in Newton, so we'll select a scale example. You select 100, newt 100 Newtons, it equals to 1 centimeter. So 950 Newton, that will be equal to 9.5 centimeter. And 1220 Newton is equals to 12.2 centimeter. And the angle between them is 30 degrees. So how to find the resultant? Of these two vectors and using a resultant how we'll find the weight so first we draw first vector it's up to you any one of them you can draw say we draw 12.2 12.2 centimeter which is 1220 newton then we'll place a protractor and mark what the total angle is 70 so place a protractor mark 70 degrees and draw the second vector and the length of the second vector is how much it is 9.5 so you'll draw a second vector of length 9.5 now open this so this is 9.5 centimeter and the, this one is 12.2 now open the compass to a length of 12.2 place it on other side like if this is the length we measure so we'll place on the other side and draw an arc of length 12.2 then open the compass to 9.5, place it on other side and draw an arc. So when we join the starting of the two vectors till the intersection or till the arcs, that will be our resultant. So this will be the resultant of the two vector. And you have to complete the figure because it should make a parallelogram. So when you join the points, it should make a parallelogram. If it is making a parallelogram, then it will be accurate because in this example, I'm just uh, not measuring the value. So it will not be a perfect parallelogram, but it should be a parallelogram. And then you will measure this value, like value of the result, this length you will measure. It can be any. So example, if it was 11 centimeter. So 11 centimeter means 11, because one, centimeter is 100 newton so 11 centimeter will be 1100 newton so resultant upward of these two this upward is 1100 newton so what is the weight of the object because this crane is lifting the object so weight of this object is also 1100 newton this 1100 is just explanation value but when you solve with the measurement, you will get your correct answer. Another question, a similar question. 
tension 1 is there 8 newton and tension 2 is there 6 newton and the total angle between them will be 44 plus 69 which is 113 so first we draw we select a proper scale so example we select 1 centimeter is 1 newton so this 6 centimeter 6 newton will be 6 centimeter and 8 newton will be 8 centimeter so we draw any one of them example first we drew 8 centimeter and we are using a parallelogram so when you are using a parallelogram you should start both vectors from the same point so this is 8 newton then place a protractor and mark 113 so 113 will be more than 90 so 113 example here at this point this was 8 centimeter then draw the second vector of 6 centimeter length now again same thing we'll open the compass 8 centimeter place it on this side opposite side and draw an arc Open the compass 6 cm, place it on this side and draw an arc. And the starting of the two vectors, join the starting of the two vector and the intersection of the arc, that will be the resultant. And measure this length. Example, if this resultant is coming out, say 8.2. So 8.2 cm means 8.2 Newton because 1 cm is 1 Newton. So this upward force, this upward force is 8.2, 8.2 8 Newton. So how much is the downward weight T3? That is also 8.2 Newton. So value of the resultant is 8.2 Newtons. Another question. In an accident, a truck goes off a road into a ditch. Two breakdown vehicle A and B are there. Angle between them is 45. At point in a rescue operation, breakdown vehicle A exert 4000 and B exert 2000. Scale, they already gave you the scale. One centimeter is 500. Draw a scale diagram to find the resultant. So how to find a resultant? We know A is... 4000 so if the scale is 500 so 4000 uh, it means 8 centimeter and this will be 4 centimeter so first any one of them we can draw we can draw first b example we drew that is 4 centimeter then we'll mark 45 major 45 degrees with using a protector place it at this point the starting point mark 45 and draw the second vector which is Eight centimeter. And then open the compass. Open the compass four cent this was eight centimeters. So open the compass four centimeter, place it on other side and draw an arc. Open the compass eight centimeter, place it on other side and draw an arc. And join the points from starting of the two vectors to the intersection of the arc that will be the resultant example if the this resultant is coming out say 9 cm so 1 cm was 500 newton so 9 cm 9 multiplied by 500 that will be 9 multiplied by 4 5 that's 45 so 4500 newton will be the resultant then they ask for direction of resultant to direction of the road. So what is the direction of the road? The direction of the B is same as the direction of the road. So basically what we need, we need the angle here. So we can measure this angle using a protractor. We'll measure this angle and state this angle in the answer. Figure shows a heavy ball of weight W suspended by fixed beam, two ropes, P and Q, 30, 30 Newton. So basically the same thing, 
here also scale is given 1 cm is 5 newton so 30 newton will be 6 cm so we'll draw 6 cm now what is the angle between them if this is 45 45 so this angle will be 180 minus 45 45 which is 90 so we'll take angle between the two vectors so that should be 90 degrees so we draw 6 cm and 6 cm now open 6 cm draw an arc open 6 cm place it on other side draw an arc from tail of the uh, from the starting of the two vector till the intersection of the arcs that will be the resultant and this resultant example if it is coming out 7 cm so 7 multiplied by 5 so 35 newton so this is 35 newtons the weight will also be 35 newton because the resultant upward balances with the weight which is acting downward Another similar question, an object of weight W is suspended by two ropes. The scale is given one centimeter is 10 Newton. So 8.6, 86.6 me, Newton means 8.6 and 5, 50 Newton means 5. So first we will draw 8.6 centimeter. Then angle between them is 90. So we'll draw 5 centimeter. Then open the compass to 5 cm, place it on other side, draw an arc. Open the compass to 8.6 cm, place it on other side and draw an arc. So the point where the we started the two vectors and intersection of the arc, that will be our result. So and direction of resultant acting, so that resultant is acting vertically upward. Or you can also mention angle like 30 degrees 30 degrees from 86.6 newton or 60 degrees from 50 newton or you can also mention vertically upward another question figure 2.2 is an incomplete vector diagram resultant is given from the river current determine the scale how to determine the scale as they mentioned the river current the force from a river current is 80 kilo newton so if it is 80 kilo newton you will measure this length like example if this length is example 2 centimeter so 2 centimeter is equals to 80 kilo newton or 1 centimeter is equals to 40 kilo newton that will be the scale then how to complete a vector diagram to determine the magnitude so we have the resultant one of the vectors there so we can use a vector addition rule triangle method or a parallelogram so when we join from because like if we have one vector and we have the second vector so the resultant is from tail of the first to the head of the law that's resultant so we have the resultant So when we join this point, we'll get the second vector and we'll measure the length. This length example, maybe it is say five centimeter. So we already have the scale that one centimeter is equals to 40 kilo Newton. So five centimeter will be X kilo Newton. We'll get the answer. Then angle with the magnitude of the force and the angle between the two vectors, measure the angle between direction of current and the force in, from the engine. So this is the force from the engine. We need angle between them. So to get the angle between them, we'll make a parallelogram. We'll draw a complete a parallelogram. So we need this angle. We'll measure the angle between the two vectors. Because if I measure this angle, this is when we when they say angle between the two vectors. So Resultant is a diagonal and the two vectors are the side of the parallelogram. Then a similar question. So you find a similarity between the question figure 3.1 shows an object suspended from two ropes. The weight of object is 360 Newton. Magnitude of tension in each rope is T. So identical in a space draw uh, below determine the tension by drawing a vector diagram. 
so state a scale you have used so basically the resultant of these two tension which is acting upward is balances with the weight so you can select a scale like example you select 1 cm is equal to 60 newton so this 360 newton will be equal to 6 cm so our resultant should be 6 cm so now in this diagram first we draw a resultant which is of length 6 cm so resultant is of length 6 cm because that resultant balances with the weight so this is 6 cm now what we do the two the angle between the two vectors should be 90 so we draw the vector the angle between the two vectors should be 90 so we draw the first vector and we draw the second vector but keep in mind both the length should be same and the angle between them is 90 so this angle will be 90 if you use a parallel if you use a triangle method or if you use a parallelogram method you have the resultant which is 6 centimeter so you draw the two vectors and complete them as a side of a <coughs> sorry complete them as a side of a parallelogram but then keep in mind the angle between them is 90 and angle between the t and the resultant should be 45 because the total is 90 and when you join them as a side of a parallelogram how to know what is the value of a t because this one is t or this one is also t so you'll measure using a ruler you will measure this length example if this length is example four centimeter or five centimeter so one centimeter is 60 newton so five centimeter will be 300 newton according to the question you will get the answer so this was scale diagram or a vector diagram if you have any question or still doubt, you can ask your doubts in a comment.